was interesting. I mean, we've seen some pretty chummy meetings with world leaders. This one did not appear that way. No. Uh, I think what was most striking was what they didn't talk about uh, in their joint news conference. The name Putin wasn't mentioned. Mm -hmm. The question uh, of Russia, and they see Russia and the threat from the Kremlin very differently. Yes, there was a veiled reference to migration, uh, but they, they, they kind of downplayed it. But obviously, they see very differently on the question of opening their borders to refugees coming out of the chaos in, in the Middle East. And they, and they didn't really get into their very sharp differences about the European Union. Uh, Germany, of course, the great economy, the great power uh, on Europe, in Europe now and in the European community. Uh, President Trump famously, as a candidate, backed Brexit, the British exit from uh, the EU. So uh, I, I was struck more by what they didn't talk about than what they did talk about. Yeah, and it just brings you to sort of realize that it's, it's opposite world now, right? I, I mean, this is a relationship. Barack Obama, the former president, and Angela Merkel were always on the same page, essentially. Climate change is very important to them. They agreed on, uh, you know, issues of trade, essentially. Um, and when it came to this stuff about refugees and, and how much backlash she's gotten in her own country over this, he didn't press her on that. No, that's right. And, and, and I think one of the things that strikes me whenever I see this president with world leaders is the degree to which he, the fact that he's there in the East Room holding these kinds of joint news conferences is a real statement about the, the, the tremendous tectonic shift we had in this country in this last election, that it was a populist wave. We've got a, a new sheriff and a new way of looking at the world uh, in charge in town. And it, it, as you say, the old relationships between old Europe, as it used to be called, and the United States have changed dramatically with this new president. You could also see it, Martha, in, in the questions, the quite tough questions that uh, President Trump got from the German press. Uh, they asked, one reporter asked him about whether he's an isolationist and the attacks on the media and fake news. He bristled at that, and in fact, he called that German reporter an example of fake news. And then, as Ed pointed out, there was another question about the wiretapping. I mean, they were, to a large degree, not asking about German-U.S. relations. They were asking about Trump and domestic relations here in this country.